The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, was built to be humanity's ultimate eye into the cosmos. With its 6.5-meter gold-coated mirror and infrared instruments, it has already peered farther back in time than any telescope in history. But now, something has happened, something so extraordinary that scientists are calling it a cosmic revolution. When Webb began observing galaxies at the edge of the observable universe, astronomers expected to see young, chaotic, and primitive structures. After all, the Big Bang theory tells us that in the early universe, matter had only just begun clumping into stars and galaxies. But instead of tiny clusters of newborn stars, Webb spotted fully formed galaxies, spiral galaxies, massive structures with billions of stars that shouldn't exist. To put it simply, Webb is showing us galaxies that are too big, too early. According to standard cosmology, there simply wasn't enough time after the Big Bang for these giant galaxies to form. Yet Webb's data shows them shining brightly, as if they've been around for billions of years longer than physics allows. This is not just a small detail. It breaks the timeline of the universe itself. And it didn't stop there. Webb also found galaxies with unusual chemical compositions. They weren't just hydrogen and helium, the two elements that dominated the newborn cosmos, but were already rich in heavy elements like carbon, oxygen, and even iron. Heavy elements are only formed in the hearts of massive stars, which then explode as supernovae, scattering those elements across space. That process takes billions of years, yet Webb is detecting it in galaxies formed just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. If the data is correct, then our understanding of how fast the universe evolved is completely wrong. Some physicists argue that this might mean the cosmological models themselves need rewriting. The Lambda Cold Dark Matter model, the backbone of modern cosmology, may no longer explain what Webb is seeing. Others even whisper about something more shocking, that perhaps the universe is older than we think, or that our concept of time itself needs revision. For now, NASA has released cautious statements, but behind the scenes, research papers are exploding across scientific journals. Some call it the web crisis. Others say this is simply the nature of science. Old theories must break when new evidence emerges. But the big question is, if the universe isn't what we thought, then what is it? Webb's discoveries don't just challenge cosmology, they strike at the very heart of physics itself. Take, for instance, the concept of dark matter. For decades, scientists have believed that invisible dark matter was the glue holding galaxies together. Without it, the gravity from normal matter wouldn't be enough to form galaxies in the early universe. But Webb's images are showing galaxies that seem to defy this rule. Some of them appear stable and well-structured, even when calculations suggest there isn't enough dark matter to explain their formation. Could it be that dark matter behaves differently than we thought? Or could it mean dark matter doesn't exist at all? If that's the case, physicists may have to rethink one of the most fundamental pieces of the cosmic puzzle. Then there's dark energy the mysterious force driving the acceleration of the universe's expansion. For years, scientists have struggled to measure it, and Webb's ultra-deep observations of distant galaxies and galaxy clusters are now suggesting that the acceleration rate may not match predictions. That means our measurements of the universe's expansion, our cosmic yardstick, might be wrong. But Webb's challenges don't end with dark matter and dark energy. In one of its most shocking observations, Webb detected light that seems to be older than the universe itself. Using its infrared instruments, the telescope picked up faint signals that, when calculated, appear to have originated from a time before the Big Bang. That's not just strange, it's impossible. The Big Bang is supposed to be the origin of space, time, and matter. If Webb is detecting light older than the Big Bang, then either the Big Bang wasn't the beginning or our interpretation of these signals is completely flawed. And here's where it gets even more unsettling. 
some scientists are now speculating that Webb may be detecting evidence of a cyclical universe, a cosmos that doesn't begin and end, but instead resets in an eternal loop of expansion and collapse. Others think Webb may have just glimpsed another universe bleeding into ours, suggesting that the multiverse isn't just theory, but reality. Meanwhile, physicists are clashing. Traditionalists argue that Webb's data is being misinterpreted, while others boldly state that Webb has already broken physics as we know it. One cosmologist recently said, either the telescope is wrong or our entire understanding of reality is. And if it's not the telescope that's wrong, then we may be on the verge of rewriting not just astrophysics, but the very foundations of science. So what does this all mean for us, sitting here on a small blue planet, orbiting an ordinary star? First, Webb's discoveries remind us that science is not fixed. For decades, humanity has believed in a neat story, the Big Bang, the birth of stars, the slow evolution of galaxies, and the eventual fate of the universe. But Webb is showing us that the cosmos is far stranger, far more complex, and perhaps far more infinite than we ever dared to imagine. If galaxies existed earlier than we thought, then life itself might be far older than we assumed. Perhaps civilizations had billions of extra years to emerge and evolve long before Earth even existed. This raises a haunting question. Are we the latecomers in the universe already teeming with ancient life? Second, Webb's hints of a cyclical or multiversal cosmos suggest that our universe may not be unique. What if countless other universes exist, each with its own laws of physics, its own galaxies, and perhaps even its own versions of us? Suddenly, humanity's search for meaning takes on an entirely new dimension. But beyond the wonder lies the warning. If our models of dark matter, dark energy, and cosmic expansion are broken, then we may be unprepared for the true fate of the universe. Will the cosmos continue expanding forever, growing colder and emptier until all stars burn out? Will it collapse back into a singularity and a fiery big crunch? Or will something stranger happen, a rip through the very fabric of reality, tearing space and time apart? For now, Webb cannot give us final answers. But what it has done is undeniable. It has shattered our comfortable picture of reality. It has forced scientists, philosophers, and even ordinary people to confront the possibility that we know almost nothing. And maybe that's the greatest gift Webb has given us. Because to truly break science is not to destroy it, it is to expand it, to force it to evolve, and to push humanity into the next great chapter of discovery. The James Webb Telescope has not just looked back in time, it has looked beyond time. And in doing so, it has reminded us that the universe is not a solved puzzle, but a mystery still waiting to unfold. So the next time you gaze up at the night sky, remember this. Every star, every galaxy, every flicker of light may not just be a piece of the universe we thought we knew. It may be evidence of something far grander, something that truly breaks science. And that's only the beginning.